Hey everybody, this is CP Roll 43 with a short update for you guys. So I'm just going to go over the detailing that I did on the SD40. And this detailing has was done uh, after the last update. So you'll get to see a bit of changes. And then I've also done a little bit of detailing on the uh, GP38 as well. So uh, starting off with the SD40 here, uh, this is the dummy un... Uh, with the with no gears and uh, drivetrain but is uh, slightly ready to be powered and uh, I can't wait to get it powered so anyways we're gonna go in on the uh, front headlight here that I stuck on did a little bit of filing on the nose there and added the miniatures by Eric L7A pre-drilled front double headlight and uh, let me just say that these headlights by Miniatures are, by Eric are way better than the uh, Details West. And uh, I'll just show you that for a sec there to prove it. So I'm going to, I put the uh, Details West headlight on the front of the GP38 here. So as you can see there, it's just kind of stupid looking. You'd have to see it in person to actually see the detail, but it's not really that great to be honest. So, um, but yeah. Added that front headlight on, looks pretty good. And uh, then I also sanded down the uh, stock casting that was up on the number board there. So uh, that's going good. And then I'll flip it to the back to show you what I'm doing there. So as you can see, filing down that one end there, the EMD styled uh, rear light. And then I'll uh, get to adding on the miniatures by Eric casting that I picked up for that, the uh, single beam which is right here oh there you go so it's got that uh, bevel again which all of the uh, miniatures by Eric rear lights seem to have which is really cool and I've uh, drilled it out a little bit and uh, I'm just waiting for to finish up on the filing and then I can uh, stick it on so that's what's going on with the uh, SD40 I figured out what was wrong with the uh, rear axle and the rear truck it was a, um, the gear was, uh, the wheels were like really locked into the gear and the square bearing which allows them to uh, roll wasn't, uh, was so tight it couldn't roll properly so um, I had to fix that a little bit and uh, some other things but it's working great now and it's a perfect dummy locomotive right now and uh, it's going awesome, can't wait to do more on it. And then on to the GP38 which I've done some detailing on the back so this was the miniatures by Eric casting that I installed GP38 rear light specifically and uh, I painted it black I removed the uh, Bachman casting so it looks pretty good and I had to do a little bit of work on the inside but everything turned out great and it's lightable ready to be lighted so uh, I'm not gonna light it up now but uh, you'll see in some other videos so uh, that's what's happening here and you may have noticed how well my videos are going right now you can see how it's focusing and stuff like that uh, turns out believe it or not I've got a brand new iPod and I'm using it it is an iPod 5th generation 16 gigabyte with iOS 7 already installed so that is awesome and uh, go back here and you can see the old iPod right over there connected to my uh, speaker dock so um, that's uh, not being used that much anymore only for music and um, I may do one more video with it just but uh, once in that video I'll show you guys the uh, new iPod that I'm using right now so uh, you'll get to see what the magic looks like <laughs> but yeah that's what's happening around here and everything's going smoothly I got pretty well all my locomotives back together and uh, they're ready to be used as well and uh, yeah Everything's going great and smooth, so I um, that, guess that's about it. Um, I'm going to Edmonton once more this weekend for a uh, baptism, and uh, then coming home on uh, Thanksgiving. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, update, and again, I'll make sure that I get this. Uh, I'll definitely be getting more videos out with this camera for sure. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, this is CPRO43, and good luck.